This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp and HelloFresh. Satoru Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer Sensei. Makama, Chainsaw Man's head of Tokyo Public Safety. These two paranormal mentors are so strong that they change the very worlds they exist in. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Japan, December 7th, 1989. Satoru Gojo was born, and the world change. And in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, invisible cursed spirits born from negativity threaten humanity. So it's up to the Jujutsu Sorcerers to do battle with them. And what better way to learn the trade than to sign up for Tokyo Jujutsu High? At this institution, a sorcerer will learn to harness their cursed energy, or the spiritual manifestation of intense emotion. It's like Ki, but if Ki desperately needed therapy. With it, sorcerers can boost their physicality and perform devastating cursed techniques Techniques. Anything from voodoo dolls to swapping places with mere claps. And lucky for humanity, Satoru Gojo's the best sensei a sorcerer could ask for. Gojo isn't just the best, he's known as the strongest. His very birth forced the strength of curses to exponentially rise. Like witnessing a world record get broken, cursed society shifted to match the might of Gojo's presence. As a kid, Gojo knew he was the shit. He mastered the art of the riz, the hoops, and the curse murder. All alongside Sugaru Ghetto, his sorcerer BFF. Together, they planned on changing Jujutsu society for the better. And if anyone could do it, Gojo could. Thanks to his bloodline, he got one of the most busted anime powers ever, Limitless. Limitless grants Gojo a nigh-perfect defense by actualizing the very concept of infinity. It creates an infinite space around himself, stopping anything coming his way. The dude is literally untouchable. Kind of. Gojo tailored Limitless to automatically detect an object's mass and velocity. As the difference between himself and an object decreases, Limitless halves the object's velocity. It's like Zeno's paradox. Think of it this way. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, first you gotta go halfway, then you gotta go another halfway, then another and another, and, and so on. With Limitless, you'll never arrive, just like my alimony payments. Hence, infinity. Yeah, it might sound complicated, but it basically creates a spatial force field around Gojo at all times. Techniques on this level would burn out other sorcerers in seconds. That's where Gojo's incredible six eyes come in. They let him see and near perfectly control cursed energy at the atomic level. So he'll basically never run out of juice in a fight. He isn't just built different, he was born different. Six eyes and limitless gave Gojo the power to manipulate space itself. Gojo's lapse blue technique attracts and condenses space into singularities. With reversal red, Gojo does the opposite, repelling space. Think push and pull. But you may be asking, how does one accomplish this with cursed energy? With math! <laughs> Curses! Exactly! Cursed energy is typically negative like with blue, but when multiplied by itself, negative cursed energy becomes positive, creating red. Oh, strawberry and blueberry! So, what happens when you combine a positive and a negative? Uh, grape? Zero! And by combining reversal red and lapsed blue, Gojo creates Hollow Purple, an enormous ball of curse energy that literally applies the concept of zero to an opponent, crushing and repelling them into nothing. Gojo's a walking cursed Swiss army knife. Levitation, teleportation, even expanding Limitless to fry his enemies. Gojo can also use positive energy to heal humongous wounds, and he's constantly refreshing his brain with it 24-7 to keep up with all of this. Still, there's one technique that costs more cursed energy than anything else in a sorcerer's repertoire. Every sorcerer is born with an innate domain, a mental world shaped by their mind and heart. Add cursed energy to it, and these domains can be manifested physically. A technique called Domain Expansion. Every sorcerer worth their salt needs one, and you know damn well Gojo has the scariest. Unlimited Void. You get caught in this, your ass is grass. Exposure to Unlimited Void overloads your consciousness with a stream of infinite information. A mere fifth of a second of exposure can leave a normal person 
in a vegetated state for months. Too bad it requires so much energy, you can only do it like once a day. Oh wait, except for Gojo, who has done it multiple times in a row. Thanks again, Six Eyes! Quite frankly, Gojo was getting so strong that the axis of the Jujutsu world began to turn on him. Like the meta of a fighting game defined by one broken character, he defined the hierarchy of power in the sorcerer world. He alone was the honored one. His mere presence can cause earthquakes. He outran sonic explosions and applied cursed energy within a microsecond. Gojo has been repeatedly stated by many to be the strongest sorcerer there is. That includes his ex-student Hikari, who can dodge lightning, or this little volcano-headed cursed Jogo, the embodiment of humanity's fear of fire, who can bring down city-shattering meteors, and Gojo kicked his ass with zero effort. But strength alone was not enough to fix his cursed world. When Ghetto rejected Jujutsu society to forge his own justice, Gojo's philosophy changed. Instead of doing everything himself, he would teach a new generation of sorcerers to carry the torch when he could not. It's all about setting an example. If it means a world where his companions can stand shoulder to shoulder as equals, who cares if he's got to show off a bit? This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. We're certainly busy over here at the Death Battle Labs, so HelloFresh's quick and easy meals and 15-minute meals are a godsend. If you want farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your doorstep, go with HelloFresh. You can make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Fall is here, so kickstart a new fall routine with HelloFresh. They'll do all the meal planning and shopping and deliver straight to your door. What's really great about saving time cooking for yourself and your family is that it gives you more time with them. Easy to make breakfasts, kid approved lunches and snacks, and time saving dinners, HelloFresh has what it takes to keep everyone, including you, satisfied. Wiz and I can get so busy here, what with the calculations and the guys in spandex beating each other up, that it's easy to miss out on meals. And That's what we like so much about HelloFresh. It's perfect for a busy lifestyle. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 death battle and use code 50 death battle for 50% off plus 15% off for the next two months. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring our show. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and a giant AK-47 carpet bombed the neighborhood. The sky rains blood, millions are dead. Dear God, Wiz, it's the end times. Run away! Calm down, there's no reason to panic. It's just that in the world of Chainsaw Man, devils exist, and your fear makes them stronger. Never mind. Panic. Remember that spider you shrieked at or the last time you cut yourself dicing onions? Now the spider and knife devils are the monstrous products of your nightmares, and they hate you specifically. The fearsome gun devil stood as the epitome of terror and destruction and was responsible for a countless loss of lives. But a group was formed to combat it and the other devils that plagued humanity. The Devil Hunters. Live in Japan and get yourself a pesky zombie problem? It's time to call the 4th Division of the Public Safety Devil Extermination. A government-funded Devil Hunter unit led by a stone-cold vixen, Makama. She's dressed like Columbo with a blank stare and a sadistic streak. She's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new prize. The union of man and pet devil dog, Denji, the Chainsaw Man. Upon meeting him, she gave him a choice. Live under her as a human dog, or die by her hand as a devil. Sounds sketch, but Denji's brain was set to teenage boy, and Makama's hot! So in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama may seem terrifying at first, but she is a dog lover and a cinephile. Though, you'd be ill-advised to mess with her. Sure, for her position, you'd expect her to know how to defend herself. Martial arts here, swordplay there, but devil hunters like Makama become real threats when they make contracts with devils. A classic Faustian bargain. Give something of yourself. The devil gives you power. She can call death upon anyone she chooses through a complicated ritual and even survive being shot through the head. Because, as they say in the devil hunter world, you need your screws loose to live. But she might have more than a few screws loose because, in actuality, Makama is a devil herself. Gasp! There's no way this clearly evil character could be a villain in disguise. The Japanese government has been keeping a close eye on Makama ever since she was born. Rightfully so. She isn't some F-tier scrub like the Bat or Leech Devils. She's the Control Devil, embodying humanity's collective fear of the oppressor. 
in a way, she's even more terrifying than the gun devil. Makaba can exert absolute mental control over any creature she views as inferior to her, which is basically everyone. People, animals, even other devils become puppets under her command. She can even hijack their senses to listen and see whatever she wants. As a devil, Makama's far stronger, faster, and more durable than the average person. Plus, her metabolism lets her slam down as many beers as she wants to. So, uh, Makama, if you're into countlessly divorced alcoholic rednecks, uh, you know who to call. By drinking blood, she can heal her injuries, and her sense of smell is so potent that it can spot targets from over 300 miles away. Not only can she control your mind, but your body too with telekinesis. She can mess up your internal organs or blow you away with finger guns. She doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She controls all sorts of things with these ghostly chains that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easier to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive fox devil, the future devil for precognition, and a ton of devils that exist just to stab you. But I'm definitely all about the blow shit up devil, the undead party devil, the the flamethrower devil, and the unholy matrimony that's the angel devil, which will make you see God before you die. Eh, after about the 20th time, seeing God gets kind of old. Anyway, <clears throat> like other devils, Makama can form contracts with people to give them power. But unlike other devils, her control powers allow her to force people into contracts that exclusively benefit her. Like when she forced Japan's prime minister into a contract that states, and I quote, <clears throat> any attack made on her will be changed into appropriate illnesses or accidents among Japanese citizens. Uh, what? The verbiage of Makama's contract is worded specifically so that she quickly heals from any damage that is perceived to be an attack. Attack, transferring said damage to some poor random citizen of Japan. Oh man, imagine like taking a shit and Makama gets hit and whoops, guess you're wiping at the pearly gates. With these abilities and contracts, Makama set out to create the world that she wanted. No more pain, no more war, no more bad movies. The world would be perfect, but she needed the Chainsaw Devil to do so, who just so happened to be living as Denji's heart. Yep, that cute doggo is actually the Chainsaw Devil. Ooh, talk about shitty luck, kid. In the depths of hell, Makama watched in awe as the Chainsaw Devil literally ate devils and eradicated plagues from existence. Because of the Chainsaw Devil, in this world, concepts like nuclear bombs, HIV, and even Nazis do not exist. He literally ate the concept of Nazis out of existence. However, as Makama didn't see Denji or the Chainsaw Devil as beneath her, she could not directly control him. She needed to manipulate him, so she decided to build Denji up and then tear him down as cruelly as possible. First, she murdered Denji's found family one by one. Then, she made Chainsaw Man into a public hero, stripping him of the power devils received by being feared. Oh, so she could control her precious Chainsaw Devil and make him press backspace on anything she didn't like. Her telekinetic bangs shot the Chainsaw Devil out of orbit, and they stalemated the Darkness Devil, which embodies humanity's greatest fears. Makam is stronger than devils like the Bomb Devil, who can easily blow up buildings, or the Typhoon Devil, which made city-spanning storms. And while fighting the Gun Devil Fragment, this large behemoth moved over 300 miles in a few seconds. She was pretty much unbeatable, though ultimate power can make it pretty lonely at the top. Makama's quest may have been to make the world a better place through Dawn, Domination. But the truth she was never willing to admit to herself was that she really wanted to understand human emotion. After all, you can't control someone and love them at the same time. Too bad she never quite found the answer she was looking for when the Chainsaw Man defeated her once and for all by cutting her to pieces, cooking her into a seven course feast, and fucking ate her? Believe it or not, the love Makama tried to understand was her undoing. Despite the hell she put him through, Denji still loved Makama in his own way. So the act of devouring her was its own act of love and did not count as an attack, bypassing her immortality. Completely batshit insane. That's Chainsaw Man for you. Who knows, Wiz? Eventually, the control devil will come back, though it won't be Makama. While her path back to hell was paved with good intentions, in the world of devils, it's no surprise that Makama came so close to her ideal future. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you ever felt that your own brain is getting in your way? And I'm not just talking about maniacal super geniuses like myself. This can apply to anyone. 
That feeling where you know what you should be doing, but you just can't do it and you don't know why. Therapy can help you find out what's holding you back, whether it be anxiety, self-doubt, or anything. Talking to someone about your feelings can definitely be tough, but it's definitely worth it. What's great about it, too, is that it's entirely online. That's right, no long commutes to a therapist's office. You can have a session right from the comfort of your own home. It's definitely not just for people dealing with major trauma. Therapy can benefit you at any point in your life. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, consider giving BetterHelp a try. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DeathBattle today to get 10% off your first month. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash death battle. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, a couple of rules for a unique fight like this one. We'll be considering curses and devils to be comparable beings to avoid arbitrary terminology in their power systems that might make this fight incompatible. We will also consider Gojo and Makuma citizens of the same Japan to balance it out. It's time for a death battle! <laughs> Love this part. Well, could have been some flicks right about now. <laughs> but gotta kill you instead. Can't just let a curse do as they please. <laughs> No talking during the movie. First huh? technique lapse. Womp womp. have died, but that much won't matter to you soon. Don't worry, I'm Satoru Gojo, the strongest. <laughs> Confident, strong, and idiotic. We'll be sure to write it on your tombstone. We don't kill you too quickly. I should be good, since you're so weak. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Bang. Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> now, be a good boy and play dead. <laughs> Should I bark too? I'm getting really tired of your pets. <laughs> Domain expansion. Unlimited void. <laughs> Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. K.O. So do you think that place is offering discounted tickets or too soon? Yeah, I'll order online. Gojo and Makuma were complicated to compare. On the surface level, Gojo had a lot going for him. It's no surprise given that his reputation in Jujutsu Kaisen is that of its pinnacle. At least it was. First of all, it's unlikely Makuma would see Gojo as inferior to her, in a similar way to how she saw Denji. So she wouldn't be able to immediately control Gojo. Gojo's birth caused a giant shift in the world of curses. Plenty of people have recognized that after only seeing him once. 
being better than everyone is literally Gojo's thing. Plus, Gojo automatically refreshes his brain with positive cursed energy 24-7. Even if Makama could control him, it wouldn't last very long. Gojo is obviously stronger too. The best feat we can compare Makama to is the Typhoon Devil's Storms, but that's nothing compared to the meteor created by Jogo, who is leagues below Gojo in strength. However, considering she reacted to the Gun Devil Fragment, Makama would actually be a bit faster, though she would need to be able to get past Limitless for her speed to matter. Makama had more devils than you can shake a fin at, but most were rendered moot against Limitless. Knives, fire, bombs, zombies, it's all stuff Gojo's dealt with before, and with zero issues. And Gojo could easily wipe out her demonic crowd with red and blue whenever he wanted to. The future devil could clue her in on anything nasty coming her way, but that wouldn't last forever. Plus, with Gojo's six eyes and teleportation, she had zero opportunities to break away and set up her instant kill moves. But Gojo would obviously lose if he couldn't permanently kill Makama. Six eyes couldn't inform him of Makama's contract with the Prime Minister, and eventually one of Gojo's attacks could cause his death instead, even if it took a while. And Makama did have a way past Limitless with her finger guns. Makama could land attacks directly on Gojo's body, meaning there's no projectile for Limitless to detect and infinitely slow down. Though when they did land, Gojo's healing ensured that he repaired his body quickly. On the flip side, Makama didn't have a counter to Gojo's domain expansion. Unlimited Void overloads its target with unlimited information. It's not really an attack. You could call it an attack on the senses, but even if she could transfer it to other Japanese citizens, she still could not escape an infinite amount of information. We can compare this to the Doll Devil, who was defeated by a technique similar to Unlimited Void. Despite being able to transfer her mind across a large number of hosts, the Doll Devil was still trying to transfer infinite information across finite people. Even with all of Japan as mental meat shields, Makamo would still be overwhelmed. Wait, doesn't that mean Gojo just unintentionally killed basically everyone in Japan? Don't think about it. Regardless, Gojo is immune to his own Unlimited Void, so he was still unaffected. Good for him. The moment Unlimited Void landed, Makama would be stuck, opening her up for a good old hollow purple. Her contract isn't perfect. Makama only ever regenerated as long as there was some mass to come back from. But hollow purple disintegrates anything it touches to zero. Literally, there's no way she was regenerating from that. Sure, control as a concept will always exist, but a reincarnation of the control devil isn't Makama. This was one of the craziest fights we've ever had. However, with Gojo's raw power broken counters and unbelievably busted Limitless, Makama lost control over this fight. Makama thought she had Gojo by the ball and chain, but in the end, she was left hollow. The winner is Satoru Gojo. Thanks for watching, and hey, are you a Death Battle member? We've got a ballot going on right now where members get to choose a matchup for the next season. So click that join button and jump into our Champions Discord.